Hi everyone and welcome to another video of Terraform. My name is uh, Tia from DevOps Learning and today we'll be going through how to install Terraform on Linux operating system. Now, what I'm going to show you guys today is basically based on my personal experience. I've noticed out there that uh, there are a lot of folks, even those who are working, that are kind of struggling to install Terraform and sometimes they don't really understand what uh, needs to be done, right? Like just take for instance, let's say you are working in one organization where they are using a uh, multiple version of Terraform. How are you going to install all those versions and make sure that you kind of manage all those versions efficiently? I've seen a lot of folks, when they ask them to install Terraform, they will just go to the Terraform main documentation and kind of download that and install. What is happening here is that when you go to the main documentation, Terraform, you go ahead and install the latest version of Terraform, which is not the desired version that you want. Let's say they ask you to install a specific version. For instance, they ask you to install 1.0.0.0. And if you go to Terraform documentation, or you kind of, if you are using Mac OS and you use the Brew Package Manager and say Brew install Terraform, it is going to install the latest version of Terraform. If you are using Ubuntu and you use the App Package Manager and say App install Terraform, it is going to install the latest version. The best way to install a specific version is basically to go through the Terraform releases and you download a specific version that you want and you can install that. And also, why are we going to manage multiple versions of Terraform? Sometimes we might have an organization that uh, maybe they are using a specific version of Terraform and somebody might install another version that is greater than what they have. Let's say they are using Terraform version 12 and another person uh, in the team installed Terraform version one. What will happen is that when he will use Terraform version one to trigger Terraform, it will go ahead and migrate the state file from 12 to one. And when the state file is migrated, there is no way that we can go back, right? That means the company will start managing two version of Terraform. Also, we can manage multiple versions of Terraform when uh, the company basically is trying to kind of migrate, like to upgrade Terraform from one version to another. Let's say they are on version uh, one and they want to, they are on version 12, for instance, and they want to migrate to version one, they will basically install multiple versions, right? Like version 13, version 14, up to one. And they will migrate that. And let's say they migrate that for, from version 12 to version one, you have to use two versions now because let's say they have upgraded an EKS module from 12 to one and you want to kind of make any modification on that module, you have to make sure that you have Terraform version one installed and other modules will still be on Terraform 12. That means in this case, we will find ourselves managing two version of Terraform, right? Now, let us jump in now and let us go ahead and see how to install that the proper way. The first thing that I'm going to do here, this is just a GitHub repository. And in the description of this video, I am going to add the link to this uh, GitHub repository, also the link to uh, the Terraform releases and also the Terraform documentation. What I was saying earlier is this, let's say if you want to install Terraform, if you just go to the Terraform documentation, right here, you will see how to install Terraform on Linux. And if you click on Ubuntu, for instance, and you follow all these steps, it's going to install Terraform. But what is it going to install? It is the latest version of Terraform and not a specific version that you want. The proper way, for instance, will be to go through the Terraform releases. Here, you can kind of download a specific version of Terraform that you want, and you can install that, right? Let's say you want Terraform version one, you can basically go ahead and choose Terraform version one, you download it and you install it. So far, I basically have uh, one VM already set up in AWS and that is Ubuntu VM. Let me go ahead and kind of log in. 
in AWS and I will connect to that VM. And I will go ahead, first of all, and show you guys the manual process or how to install Terraform. That means we'll run everything through the command line. And I have a bash script here that we use to automate the installation, right? And it doesn't really matter. If you want to install any version, you plug it in there, you will be able to install that without any issue. Now, I have these VMs here called, um, called Linux. I'll go ahead and kind of check and say connect and connect to that. And when I am connected, I will kind of go ahead now and update my operating system. Connect, I'm going to choose the SSH client and pull up my terminal here. I have my key here already, which means if I run this, I can just go ahead and say yes. And, oh, I can, oops. Go ahead, tap yes, and I am in. And the first thing I will go ahead and I update my operating system. Just use the sudo app update, app update, and we enter so that this will go ahead and update all the packages, right? And also, please, when you want to install Terraform, most of the time, let's say you have your Mac machine. Let's say also you have an, an account on the Linux server, right? You kind of want to put your version like for instance if you have my windows machine or my mac machine i don't just want to install this as a root i can install this in my home directory if you have this this is user um this is home ubuntu i am going to install this as user ubuntu it might be my account like same thing i don't want to switch as a root user and install that yeah i can do that that is also fine but i will can kind of use just the Ubuntu user to do so. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do here is basically to download uh, the Terraform binary. And to do that, we need to use a uget command to do that. If you have uget, as you can see, it looks like uget, it is already installed. That means we don't need to install that anymore. Now, if you go back to the releases, I can go ahead and look for a specific version that I want to install. Right now, I, have, I want to install Terraform version 1.0.0. .0. And this is the right one. I want to click on that. You guys can see that it will pull up. Um, it, it's going to give me everything for our operating system. But right now, we want to install that on Linux. We will have almost multiple versions here that talk about Linux, Linux. But if you want to do that, make sure that you install the AMD64 and not the RMD64 on Ubuntu. If you install another version, it might you might run you might run into issues. Right? That means I am going to kind of right click here and say copy the link address because if you just click on that, it will go ahead and download it and put it on your local machine. But right now we are already logging on the remote server. Copy the link address and go back to my terminal. And I'm going to use the uget, wget command, and I will download the zip file. Now, everything, it is downloaded. Let me go ahead and type the zip command to see if zip install. Right now, zip is not installed. I'll go ahead and use the apt command and install zip. And I'll type yes to confirm that I want to do that. And that is done. Let me type ls again one more time. The binary is there. I will now we use the unzip command to kind of unzip that. That is the zip file is there. And I will use the unzip command to unzip that so that I can get the binary. That is done. Now I have the Terraform binary here. I can test that just by typing dot backslash and just type Terraform. When I say dot, I can just type dot and backslash no i type backslash backslash is um a windows stuff right i'll just say terraform and good now if you see dash dash version i will see what version do i have here it's telling me that this is version one this is working so far but it is not a good idea to basically keep your version where we are right now if you keep it where we are right now, what will happen is that every time that somebody wants to run Terraform, he must, he must make sure that it is where the binary is, or he must point the binary path before he can do that. I don't, you don't really want to do so. What you can do here is that 
you will go ahead and kind of move this and put it where it's supposed to be. And where it's supposed to be, it is in user local bin, right? That means if you say ls and tab us and say local and tab bin, you guys will see that I will not have any binary there so far. Now, ls, I can kind of go ahead here and kind of rename this binary first. I'm going to do it twice and show you how you guys how you can manage even multiple version. First of all, I will use the cp command and I'm going to copy this binary from this location into user local bin. If you hit enter, I need to use the sudo command as I'm using the regular user and record the command to list whatever we have in local user bin. You guys can see that we have the binary there. That means if you tap Terraform now, I will be able to have that. And LS again, if you tap Terraform dash dash version, I mean right now I can run Terraform from anywhere. Dash dash version, as you guys can see. Now, if you want to manage multiple Terraform version, just using your command line to install this, what are you going to do? Let's say I kind of rename this one MV and I want to rename Terraform to TF1, that means Terraform version one. If you say LS, TF1 is here, I can now move you sudo and say mv and move tf1 tf1 into slash user local bin right and tab ls i don't have it here now that means if you tab tf1 now you guys will see that there are from it is in store if you tab ts1 dash dash version dash dash version as you guys can see, it is installed. Now, if you cd into user local bin to slash user local bin, as you guys can see here that I have those two versions. And that is how you can install Terraform manually if you want to kind of use a UGET and the command line, you can do that. But we are DevOps, right? Let's say you kind of want to automate this process. What are you going to do? And this is where I have a script that we'll use to automate that. First thing, I am going to remove everything that we have here in user local bin. I will use rm, have an rf, that means force, dash rf. And I'm going to say star to remove all the version that I have here. And I don't have anything. Let me now get back where I was before in my home directory. I am here. Now, let me go to this GitHub repository. Like I said, I am going to put uh, the link in the description of this video. Here, I basically have this bash share script that I put together. And the purpose of this bash share script is what? It will kind of help you install any version of Terraform that you want. If you just want to install one version, you can still use it. That is fine. As you guys can see here, I basically defines all the version of Terraform that I want to install here. And with this Terraform bin name, this is how I want to call every single binary. That means the 0.12.30 will be called TF12. The 0.12. 13.0 will be called TF13. The 0 0.14.0 will be called TM, TF14. And the 1.0.0 .0 will be called TF1. And also here, the 1.2.6 will be called TF126. And I have another one, 1.0.0. 0 .0 will, will I'm going to call that Terraform, which means when I run this script, every time that my default, every time that I type Terraform, it should be using Terraform 1.0.0, right? That can be maybe the version that we're using within the organization, and we have a lot of module installed with that, right? Every time that I type Terraform, it's that one. If you type Terraform, if you type like a TF1, that it should give me also Terraform version one. Now. You can, this name, you can put whatever you want. But if you change the name and put something else, every time that you want to run Terraform, you should make sure that they are using the exact name. 
if you change something it is not going to work and basically here we are just going to to kind of update our operating system install the you get command if it's not installed and also unzip if it's not installed right and here we are just using kind of a for loop here to kind of loop over the version and also the names that we want as you can see here every time it will loop over the first one and go ahead here download the specific version from the releases and it is using the amd64 as i mentioned earlier right and here we use dash o to say hey we want the name to be terraform.zip and after that we just go ahead and unzip that and we move this one we move the binary to a specific location which is just user local bin and we rename that binary to whatever we have here that means for terraform web 0 0.12 uh, 0 0.12 30 the name will be tf12 it will take this binary and it's going to rename that and i am going to remove the zip file because i don't need it and just echo terraform version it is installed already and here we can just check all those versions when it will loop over and install everything now i'll go ahead now and copy this bash script and go and run it the right way in github you click on raw and you can kind of select everything Oops, and you can select everything and copy. And I'm going to the, the server here. I'll create a script. Then I'll call that a script.sh. Script.sh. And I'm going to press I to move to uh, interactive mode. And let me scroll up. Make sure that I copy everything. Looks good. I'll go ahead and save this with write and quit. Now, ls, the script is there. I'm going to give execute permission to the script, uh, mode x and script.sh, and use sudo here to run my script as I'm working as a regular user. I'll go ahead and say bash and call the script name, and I'll hit enter. As you can see here, it will go ahead and update the operating system. It's downloading. The version already is looping over right now, right? It pick the 13, the 14, and so on. And when it's done, it will go ahead and bring all the version, and that's it. As you guys can see here now, if we move into user local bin, before we even move there, let us test. If you have the TF1, that is cool. Let us check the version, I say dash dash version, and see if it is, it is good. Let me go ahead and tab the TF12 dash dash version that is good let me go ahead and tap the terraform 13 it looks good let me go ahead and tap the 14 the 14 <laughs> it looks good let me go ahead and tap tf1 also to see if it's version one yes let me go ahead and tap tf126 which is 1.2.6 that looks good and let me go ahead and check just terraform just terraform <laughs> version uh oops we oh, might have a typo it's a terraform okay this this little a missing that's terraform version one and let us see dina into user local bin and list what we have here as you guys can see we have all the versions here right and this will allow you to efficiently manage multiple version of terraform right if you are going to terraform upgrade you can install all your version you go through uh the release node and see what needs to be done and see which version let's say you want to upgrade to maybe 13 14 15 and 1 you need to have all those versions installed so that you can use those to manage everything efficiently right that's uh that's it basically for this video if you guys want to know exactly how to do the same thing on mac os and also on window please let us know let me know in the description below and i'll go ahead and create another video on how to install terraform on mac os and also on window machine the same way that i did it for uh for linux operating system that's it for this video and bye bye